another one. Our entry level, no experience QA job is pretty much non-existent right now. <clears throat> I've been looking on LinkedIn, ZipRecruiter, and Indeed, but the positions all require years of experience, which I don't have as a recent computer science graduate. It, it's definitely frustrating because I need a job to get experience, but nobody wants to hire someone with no experience, unfortunately. I also die a little inside every time someone hears that I'm a computer science graduate and says it's easy to get a job with a computer science degree. So, um, at first I was going to say flat out, Yes, entry level, no experience career jobs are pretty much non-existent right now. However, when I saw that you said that you did, you're a recent computer science graduate, that does offer some hope, right? But here's a question. When you were, before you graduated, did you do any internship, right? Believe it or not, that internship, as it, like, so here's the difference, right? There are some boot camps that offer um, pretty much made up fake internships, right? Um, you know, but then there are like when you're in college, especially as a computer science major, you should be able to get a. Um, you, you should very you should strive to spend your summer working as an intern for a software engineering software development company, right? And that, that experience is actually valid, right? Seeing some, who's a, someone who's a fresh graduate who is also a, um, who did an internship for a company, that, to me, that experience is, is very valid, right? And that leads you into consideration. I know you might see that it says, um, you know, three to five years of experience and stuff like that, but guess what? It's not. <clears throat> when companies post this experience, they're, it's, it's posted the same way as, um, so they might say like three to five years of experience, uh, computer science, um, bachelor's degree in computer science, all that type of stuff, right? It is their nice to have the same way that you have a nice to have that you'd want to make a million dollars on your first job right out of college, right? Not going to happen. But at the same time, it's not easy for them to meet those exact requirements that they have as well, right? So if they have a requirement like this, right? We want somebody with, uh, we want an entry-level person, 10 years of experience, right? We want to pay them $50,000 a year. We want them to be living in um, Arkansas for, I don't know. I don't know why I always pick on Arkansas, but we want them to live in Arkansas, right? Um, and we want them to... Um, I know, drive a Prius or something, right? They're probably not going to get that. Because nobody with 10 years of experience is entry level and is going to take a... Um, the best that they'll probably get is the Prius. Right? So I say, <clears throat> apply it like... Regardless of that experience level, apply. To me, it's about how do you present your resume? Um, how do you present yourself, right? The first step is getting past the, the resume um, filters, right? The ATS. And then, so that your resume can get into the hands of a actual recruiter. And then, um, once you land that interview, crushing interview, right? You need to be able to articulate yourself as if you have three to five years of experience. Even if you have like one year of experience, maybe it's your, like you need to gain experience, right? And I have strategies on how you can gain experience. You can ask Randy in the chat, right? Like every day I'm sending her um, like, hey, we're going to go after this um, in a few months. As soon as we, as soon as I believe that we're ready to 
go after these opportunities. We're going to go after them to get some experience. It's not even about the pay at that point, right? It's about, I need the experience. So we're going to implement different strategies to get that experience. Okay. So is getting, is getting a job because something that you said, right? Was you said, I also die a little inside every, oh, so not that part, right? You said it's definitely frustrating because I need a job to get experience, but nobody wants to hire someone with no experience. It, here's a question, right? Message. Is the only way to get experience is working for a company, like a W2 employee for a company? I think that you can create your own internship. Right? I think you can create your own internship. I think you can create your, your own experience, right? It's just how do you market it? I'm I'm going to I'm going to just give this one nugget, right? Because the rest is for the Patreon members, right? But you need you need experience, right? You, you want to you get into QA, you need experience. Well, I am pretty sure that there are tons of small businesses who might have a, have a little website or something locally to you that you can go to them and say, hey, um, I see that you have this website. I'm a recent computer science graduate, right? And I'm trying to get experience doing um, quality assurance. Do you mind if I would... Um, do quality assurance on your your website or your application or whatever the whatever it is that they have, right? So that you can actually start building some real life test cases. They build some automation suites for their for them, right? Can they pay you? Maybe not. But if you're trying to gain experience, is it more important that you get a few dollars or you get the experience and you get the ability to Speak to, to network with people. Explain to them what you're doing, why you're doing it, and what, how it benefits them. The strategy that you're using, right? And you get to put it on your resume. I worked for this mom and pops um, store as a, QA, as a QA engineer. I wrote these test cases for them. I, let's, take a, let's, take, let's take an ice cream shop, for example, right? I work for this ice cream shop as a QA engineer, right? I work for this ice cream shop as a data engineer. I gathered all their sales data and I, I, I made predictions. I, I said, okay, this is the type of um, ice cream that's being um, purchased more during this season. So we should ramp up purchasing this type of ice cream instead of this type of ice cream during the winter season, or maybe winter is not the best example, maybe during the summer season, this is, this is the ice cream that's most purchased, right? So we're going to get this one more. And then during maybe fall or um, winter, we get this one instead, right? Based on the data. You can do the same thing with QA, right? Maybe you are a... Um, Maybe you're starting to be a full stack developer, right? The same strategy applies, right? Mom and pop shop, maybe they have some crappy website, who knows? Or maybe they have no website. Approach them saying, hey, I'm trying to get some experience um, as a full stack developer, as a web developer, right? Do you mind if I build and host your website for you? Now you create this amazing website for them that you can add to your portfolio and you control it because you're hosting it, right? And because you're creating it, don't give them that much um, design creativity leverage over you, right? So those, like, I've, I've said too much already, right? But those are the ways that you can, you can, you can build your own experience. See, with the tech barbarians, you can ask them. I like they are gaining so much experience over the the strategies that I've that I've implemented. They're going to be Scrum experts in the next 
few months. They're going to be very fluent with Jira. They're going to stop. They're going to stop closing the parent task instead of their subtasks, right? But they're going to be experts. And, and that's my goal. I want them to be experts. I want them to make a lot of money. And as 50 Cent says, I want them to go straight to the bank with that one. All right. So that is what I would say for there's no, so there's no entry level, no experience QA jobs, create it, create your own job, right? And go out there and win. the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.